guys, so I just got back from work and the package that I was waiting for to film this last part of my book haul um, actually came. So this is it. Um, so I figured I would just do the unboxing and then I can put it all together and it'll be up um, and ready to upload. Probably won't go up until next week. Um, so yeah, but I already know what's in here. I just like to unbox things. It's fun. Um, but before that, I'm just going to show you the one book that I don't think I have shown in the other parts. If I have, then I'll crop out the other part. I don't know. We'll see. But for the month of June, I'm, I got City of Heavenly Fire. Um, I think I was really good. Like I hadn't bought as many books as I wanted. And then I got this because it's, you know, a new release. I really liked it. I gave it a... F oh, don't remember. Um, I do have a re review for it though so I'll leave a link to it down below but I really did enjoy it. So this is the last one. I'm just trying to figure out if I bought anything else I haven't shown you guys but I don't really remember. So I'm just going to smash this open. I don't remember. If I... Did I order this in paperback or hardback? I'm going to have to check if I ordered this in paperback or hardback. Give me two seconds. Okay, I ordered in paperback. I was having a freak out for no reason. Um, yeah, no. So, I got... <laughs> that was so weird. I got A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. And this is, I'm pretty sure, adult contemporary. But there's something really fascinating about this that I really, really wanted to buy it. Um, I think it's just a story about an old man. And then he just tells his you know, life story. Um, but there's... Got, it's got really good reviews on um, Goodreads, so I'm going to see how that goes. I really like the cover though, I think it's so cute, um, if you guys can see that. And then the next one that I've got is Tarnish by Catherine Longshaw, which is um, part of her sort of like historical fiction um, books, and I've recently just finished her one about Catherine Howard and that was called Guilt. Um, I am going to be writing a review for that I'm pretty sure it'll be up before this video is out so if I have written it I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, but this is about Anne Boleyn um, which is the third, the second wife of King Henry VIII and I'm really excited to read it because I think it'll be great. Alright now you guys can go and watch the other parts um, and then it'll probably come back to me and I'll probably say bye. Hey guys! So, um, today after I got home from a very busy day, I found that I actually got some packages, um, all my addresses and that, um, and one of, this is the one that I bought, but this is one that I actually got sent, so I decided to do an unboxing, um, this, we'll get into, we'll get into this one first, oh, that's a phone, so you heard my lovely, um, <laughs> home phone ringtone, it, Gets a bit annoying. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Okay, we're gonna get into this one first because this is actually something that I bought for myself. I haven't been buying that many books, but I figured, what with all the hype, um, I just really wanted to read it. And because I was going through a book buying withdrawal, um, but we shall see. So the first book that I bought, or the first book that I got, is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. No idea what it's about. I Try not to um, know too much about it because, you know, from what people have said, it's not something that you want to know about and expect a lot from. So, we shall see how this goes. And I got a bookmark in this. Moving on to this one. And this is actually a package sent from Simon & Schuster, um, Australia, which is a publishing company. And I'm pretty sure they're a global publishing company. I might be wrong. Anyways, um, I got contacted by them a couple of days back, I think it was last Friday actually, I'm um, asking if I wanted to be on the book blogging list and that um, you know I could request books or they could send me books to review and I jumped on that opportunity. Um, it means so much to me that they actually asked me because you know I've always thought that it would be more of an opportunity for big bloggers out there or big YouTubers but I actually got the chance and I'm so excited that I've been given this opportunity. I'm just going to rave on about it um, so i got to stop. <laughs> but anyways, um, one of the ladies sent that she actually sent me a package first, um, you know, according to what I would like to read, which is so exciting, so I don't know what's in here, but let's open it up, oh, I just ripped that pathetically, actually, I think there's an opening here, here we go, someone opened it for me, ooh, 
But what do we have here? Oh my gosh. Five Kingdoms, The Sky Raiders by Brandon Moore, which is... I think this is middle middle grade. Um, Cole and his friends get more than they bargain for when a portal opens to an otherworldly place. The Five Kingdoms at outskirts are a strange in-between place. He's way out of his depth, but he has his... But he has to find his friends. Can Cole rescue them and find his way home before it's too late? And it's um, quoted by Rick Ryden as well. It does look like something that's a Percy Jackson series, so I'm interested to see how I will enjoy this. But I'm definitely going to be reading this soon. I'm excited. I'm probably going to get my brother to read as well. This is book one, and I think it's definitely very excited. Oh my gosh. Next up is... <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh, I just hit my head. The Year of the Rat by Claire Furness. And um, Book World has named this one of the top 30 books of this year so far, I think. Um, and I'm, I was going to buy it, actually. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Um, so I got... Oh, my gosh. I think this is contemporary. I'm pretty sure. But it's a really well-known book. I, I haven't heard too much about it yet, but I'm super excited. Like so far, this is going this is going very well. Um, and the last one in here is "Chasing the Ace" by Nicholas J. Johnson, which I have not heard about at all. But um, I think this was because I said I really liked sort of crime slash mystery novels, and I can totally see this becoming a movie. Even reading about it sounds like you know one of them, like "Catch Me If You Can" by with Leonardo DiCaprio. That was a really good movie. I love that. Um, and I'm intrigued by this. I'm intrigued to see how far Joel goes with this whole con men-ish thing. I've never, I haven't heard about this yet though, so I might have to do a review about this. Um, and I think that's it. So those are the four books that I have for my unboxing. Fine. Um, hey guys, so I knew that I would be having another part to my book haul slash unboxing. Um, I didn't know I was going to be buying books, but I had a feeling I would, and Bookworld sucked me in. Um, basically I had 25% off my order, so I went a little bit berserk, <laughs> and I got this. Um, so let's do an unboxing. I'm pretty sure I know what's in it. I mean, I only, um, put in the order like two days ago. But it's still exciting to do a um, book. What's it called? Um, unboxing. That's right. No, no, there it is. Found it. Um, yeah, Book World is pretty good in terms of like delivery. Um, I just like basically fails, and I've got to put my finger through it. Um, and, like, in terms of delivery, they they are amazing. I normally get them a day after I order them. I don't know today. This time it was a bit. Um, I think I dropped you guys there for a second. Anyways, the first book that I have here is A The Winner's Curse by Marie um, Rutkowski, I think. And this was part of my most anticipated novels of 2014. I didn't get it when it was first released though, but I've heard so many good things about it. And I finally got in the paperback. I prefer paperbacks. I don't know why. Um, but this is such a gorgeous cover. Um, the It looks silver, but then it looks gold, the writing there. And it's about a girl who is the general's daughter and um, I think she married or she meets a slave one day and, you know, they sort of develop this relationship. I don't know if it's a romance or not, but I've heard so many good things about it. So I'm definitely excited to be reading this. And then I have The Minna or The Minno, I think, by Dana Sweeney. And this is a new release. Um, it's... I picked this up on sort of an impulse. Um, I searched up on Goodreads because I found it on um, Bookworld. And it sounded like sort of a contemporary adult novel um, about a girl named Tom. But it's about sort of Tom's story. And it just sounds like a very beautiful sort of piece of writing. And even the illustration is amazingly beautiful. I'm uh, pretty sure she's Australian, the author. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, Diana Sweeney was born in Auckland. Auckland, but she moved to Australia to live. So the author is Australian and it's um, the text prize winner, which is pretty cool. Very interested to see how that will turn out. And I got Nowhere Boys by Elise um, McCready and this is actually for my brother because he said it was a TV series and he really wanted to read it. So I was like, hey, I'll get it for you as well. I have no idea what it's about. I think it's about a group of boys who go on an excursion 
and something goes wrong and they end up being lost. And next up is Anna Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery and I think this is such, such a cute cover. I love it. Um, I actually have the DVD box set that I hauled a couple or last month or something and I figured I really wanted to read it before I watched it. I've seen the first one but ages ago so I never don't really remember it but I really do. And then we have Minders by Michelle Jaffe and this is a new release as well. I think it was released a couple months back and I've read Michelle Jaffe's Rosebush and I really liked her writing. I've heard some decent things about this. Um, I think it's just interesting that the concept around it. So Sadie um, is a girl and she can sort of observe people's, inside people's heads but then one day she... Um, I think one day she finds out that something's wrong with this boy, but she's fallen in love with him, so she doesn't know what to do. And I got this hardcover for thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. Um, what I find interesting is that the hardcover isn't actually like paper, paper. I think it's more. It's like a printed on sort of stick, sticky, um, sticker paper, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, and the inside looks like this. How cool is that? And lastly, I got this purely for the booktube <laughs> All the more reasons to buy books, right? And this is Lord of the, um, the Lord of Opium by Nancy Farmer, which is the second book in a series that I have no idea how to pronounce. Um, it's really, really hard to pronounce. But the first book is called The House of Scorpion. And, and if you guys have watched Reagan and Peru's Project's um, videos, she loves... The House of Scorpion, so I figured I would read the second one as well. I'll get the second one. These are the six books that I bought. I do have another, like I did. So, you guys have watched the other ones that I bought. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too long. If you guys have read any of the books that I would have mentioned, then leave a comment down below telling me if you guys have liked it or not. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye!